This is beyond beautiful. This is this is paradise. It's so pretty. Catching fish is just gonna be a plus. I'm very seasick. Every time I stand up, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Right now, I can't fish. So, so my dad thought it was best to stop finding rocks and stuff and start cruising to get some breeze. And I do, in fact, feel better. And now, cut it off. Why are we here to see? Let's go get fish. No, just put this on. What? All right, y'all. We officially living out on Mahi on a day that should have just been looking for spots on the reef. This, this is why fishing is so unpredictable. So good morning. Um, today we're gonna go bottom fishing. We're gonna be looking for new spots because we don't really have any. We only have some in Marathon, but that's about it. So we're gonna look for yellowtail, triggerfish, grouper, and our main focus is mine snapper because we heard they've been running. And from the pictures we see, and we caught one about a week ago, 10 pounder. Um, and yeah, so we're hoping to I don't know, get on the fish, get some nice spots. Hopefully we see some good bottom and we anchor up and we catch something. We might even drift, who knows. Um, but now I'm gonna show you everything we got. We got so much bait, we got, you know, we're always prepared. So I'm gonna show you that now and then we're gonna head out there. All right, so we have six chum boxes. That's an overkill, but you know, we'd rather be uh, safe than sorry. We have a little bonita that we caught on our way to Marathon. Then we got some pilchards, we have some squid, and some, th uh, I think that's thread herring, I think. And then we have here 600 um, feet of line, so we could throw out. We have a winch, but it's low profile, so we don't want to burn it out. So we're going to use a handheld anchor. Then we have the anchor buoy if we need. Um, we got food, of course, and let's see. We have the two electric reels. We have here, this is some skin from the snapper and yellowtail we caught. Some more thread herring, you know. And then, yeah, and then this we have to sort out, but we're gonna leave that there so on our ride out we could start preparing. And yeah, we'll see you guys out there. I know I messed it up, but in my soul. spots we could find how many fish we could find and yeah all right y'all so we have found a spot in like a hundred feet of water um my dad threw out a trolling rod and now he's letting out line for like yellowtail and we put out chum and there are like a ton a ton of speedo in the back of the boat but unfortunately we forgot the hoop net and the cast net so we can't get any of those but there's they're everywhere um so yeah, I'm a little seasick, so I'm not fishing, but yeah. So update guys, that one spot we found, we were there for maybe an hour, but we didn't really catch anything. Um, I'm very seasick, that's why I'm laying on the ground. I feel bad for my dad, he's carrying all the load, but every time I stand up, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Um, so right now, my dad's just cruising around using the Seymour maps, trying to find some good ledges, rock bottom. Um, to to mark on the waypoints and on the GPS so next time we come out we could try and fish it because in uh, 
right now I can't fish, so we're just gonna find it and then head back in. My dad thought it was best to stop finding rocks and stuff and start cruising to get some breeze. And I do in fact feel better. Um, now we're in like 360 feet of water, but the weed is all scattered. There's not much weed, but it is scattered. Scattered enough to not be able to troll. Um, but it's just a beautiful day, right dad? Absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I would say that uh, finding spots was I can't say it was a fail because we never tested them out, but wasn't a success. But we're learning and we're hopeful on this, the rocks that we found. So hopefully we are able to catch some fish on it. Sometimes I feel like I can make you whole. I just can't change my emotions. I'll hold it. Put that on there. No, don't That's do that. Perfect. Put a regular, put a regular anzuelo. I can't. Just let me do that. No, it's no sipe. Yes, it does. It's on top of the water. Eso no sipe. Quita eso y pon un anzuelo, Becky. Just put this on to see, and then I'll cut it Why off. Why are we here to see? Let's go get fish. No, just put this on. Watch, I'm gonna catch a fish with it. Okay. Yeah. The other one, they're not gonna catch with it. It's huge, and it's going down. Okay, fish. You'll see. Then learn how to fucking do it yourself. I can't do it with my nails. Okay, Physically, cut, I can't. Cut your nails, and I can't do it because I have a glove. You'll still be trying to put on a hook. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, sometimes I feel like I can make you whole. I just
Anybody who fishes knows a bloody boat is always a good day of fishing, right, Dad? Absolutely. Look at your shirt. We're not sure if we have 10, which is the limit for us two, but we have one over there hooked and one here, and then I'm trying to get one on this one because we don't think either one of the ones we have hooked are legal, but there's a bull shark or a tiger shark, I'm not too sure, roaming around, so we need to keep an eye on the ones we have hooked so it doesn't get eaten. But we'll keep you guys updated. All right, y'all, we officially living out on Mahi on a day that should have just been looking for spots on the reef. Um, this is why fishing is so, what is it? I think she faked, I think she faked uh, being sick to come out here. Yeah, he said I faked being seasick to come out here, but I don't know. I love both, but offshore is definitely my favorite, but look at this, guys. This, this is why fishing is so unpredictable. Look at nice, you got nice size ones there. You have, where's the nice one? Right here. We have a cow right here. You got some nice ones. Look at that. Dad got that one. Then, oh. yeah, we got what, like, those are like five pounders, maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we're only in like 500 feet of water. We are sweating, we're drenched because it is over 100, um, what is it? 100 degrees. Um, so yeah, we're gonna clean the boat and then head back in. I know I messed it up, but get my soul. So we ended up limiting out, or so we think, because people told us that it was a limit of 10 per person, but last time we checked, it was five per person in the Atlantic side, the ocean side. So we're honestly really not sure. Here's my dad. <laughs> Go show them. <laughs> he approved of the Heineken. Yep. Um, not at all. It so, wasn't me. So, um... Yeah, it's kind of cooled down a little bit, so we're gonna fillet all 10 of them, and then we're gonna probably go in the pool, relax, and... And enjoy the rest of the night. Yeah, so peace out, Girl Scouts. I hope you guys enjoyed, and on to the next video. Girl, I need, can you love me?